Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today is just a working session. I am making a brand new Pringles can, and so I'm sort of just tinkering with it, not sure if it's gonna work out, but you'll hear my thought process along the way. So, um, sorry, let me just make this a little bit closer. All right, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. It's a lot of fun, like you'll see today. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna walk us through it. So, the can that I'm sort of modeling it after is this one. So this is a Pringles can inside, it's one point, it's one of these, it's um, 1.3 ounces, so you can see. And we added a bobble, and so it's a shaker. That there's like little floaties in here, um, little floating balls. So what we have here is, sorry, we got that light right there. Let me see if I can, um, we have a cat in a donut floaty and it's in a pool. We've got water splashes, it's a lot of fun. And we um, incorporated this little hole right here from the bobble, because it's an ornament and made a name tag. So I'm gonna do the same thing today, just a different theme. It's for our teacher gift tomorrow. And so nothing like a last minute craft, right? And doing it for the first time, tinkering with it. So what we're doing is the bottom of the Pringles can is going to be a pencil. And so the pencil is gonna come up like this. I sort of want this apple in the bobble and I'm gonna do the bubbles or like the foam balls in there, the school colors. So it's blue and white, so it's gonna be a little bit mismatchy. Um, but hanging on the tag will be a chalkboard. And the chalkboard will have her name. Uh, on the back will be the gift card. So it's an all-in-one gift. We're gonna try it out. Okay, so first things first, um, I'm gonna just pop it open and I'm doing a black background because, um, you know, with the yellow pencil, um, the eraser and everything, I felt like black was the best way to go. Um, we shall see, right? <laughs> so I've got my glue gun heating up. Let's also talk about what else we've got going on. And actually we can do this right now. I have inside the apple, I was thinking I would have to kind of tie in the school and the colors, I have Go Colts that I'm going to use HTV. I did not want to deal with peeling off each one of those individual letters and then gluing it on. So we're gonna have Go Colts here. We're gonna have the apple here. The apple is on a bobble so that when you shake it, it also like shivers. <laughs> and then we're gonna have the balls inside. So let's um, just do one thing at a time. I'm going to weed this. So. I am using HTV from Polytape. If you've heard me talk about it or seen me use it before, I do love it. So you'll see, first of all, how easy it is to weed it. Um, a lot of times I, and this is pretty small, but I've done way, way smaller and thinner. Um, you can see I just pull it off and it's super fast. This is their, um, their turbo line. So it's only gonna take about three seconds to press, press three to five seconds. Um, so I'm gonna turn on my mini press as well. Um, and yeah, so we've got that weeded. Let me get a heat pad to put this on. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna line it up over here, knowing that my bobble is gonna go to the edge. And let's see how that's gonna look. I'm gonna put this on. So it's gonna look like, like that. Can we read it? Yeah, we can read it. Okay, perfect. All right, so it's not ready yet, but I'm just gonna go because we're not washing this, so it's gonna be fine. Okay, so while we're doing this, I have a workshop. I'm doing my first uh, in-person workshop in July. It's July 16th and 17th, so check your calendars um, if you're in the Los Angeles area. So it's gonna be in Torrance, California, which is a suburb of LA, and it's right next to my favorite Joann's, so you can also go explore there as well. Um, uh, I am doing it with Claudia, Miss 
Olivia Rose shop. So we are doing three hour workshops. It's gonna be a lot of fun, really hands-on, and I'll talk about the different things as they come up, but check out, the link will be in the description here, um, but you can always just go to theuselesscrafter.com and you'll see all four workshops, and let me know if you have questions. I am here. Um, to talk about the workshop. I mean, you're just gonna love it. I'm excited thinking about it. Okay, so we've got this down. Let's continue on. Polytape is one of our sponsors, which is why it made me think of to tell you guys that. Um, that means that in the Cricut class, the for workshop number one, you will get to weed and press Polytape's HTV so that you can see the difference. And it'll be lots of fun projects. You're gonna be, I mean, it's really intensive on the hands-on portion. So you get to weed and press and put together a project. You're doing all of that while I watch. <laughs> I will just be, you know, giving you commands here and there. <laughs> all right, um, let's go and I think my glue, yep, my glue gun is hot enough. I'm going to use the glue gun to put this down and I'm gonna line this up right below this piece right here. One of the projects is a Pringles can. So if you've always wanted to do it, we're gonna be using all the fun materials that I have. And um, yeah. That's the best part. I mean, I, I, I do Zoom classes, so I'm not knocking the Zoom classes at all. I do private Zoom classes, so if you wanted to do that, I'm available for that. You can always go on my website to see everything, like what's available. Um, but the Zoom classes versus the in-person workshops, I mean, it's just that you just can't compare the two. Um, we're gonna have everything pre-cut for you. Um, so you're gonna be ready to go in the class and start assembling and it'll make more sense as you assemble, as I talk you through how you would do it in design space, because then it would make sense, oh, that's why I slice, or that's why I weld. So you're gonna see all those things. Um, and plus, you know, I'm sure you guys know, I get a lot of comments, a lot of pictures sent to me, and it's like, it doesn't look the same. I, yeah. I, because there's so many different things that go into crafting, right? It could be the materials. Um, it could be, you know, you use the glue for too long or not long enough, or it could be any of those things. Um, so I'm gonna be there to walk you through everything and that's going to make a difference. Um, you're going to develop kind of your own, like, I've been relating this to cooking. It's sort of like knowing when the color is right or when something is done. It's the same way with crafting. So you've got to develop that feeling. And once you do, easy peasy, right? All right, so here's my black, it's down. So I think I'm gonna trim this eraser. So this is gonna be the eraser. I'm gonna lay it on right now for you to see. This is the eraser and you know how it has like that metal line like right below the eraser kind of basically holding the eraser in it's going to be this oh that's kind of hard to see and then we've got our pencil and i almost have to work backwards we're going to have to put the lid on first because the lid is going to have the actual pencil so let me fold this in So it's gonna look like this. And then we've got our pencil piece right here that's gonna sit here. So this is gonna tell me how far up I need to go. Okay, I think I'm gonna trim this just a little bit. I think it's a little bit too thick. So hold on. If you don't have one of these, you should get one. <laughs> it is very, very handy. I trim a lot of things before I send it to the cutting mat too, so that I don't, um, I don't lose the stickiness on my green mat, on my green cutting mat. All right, so I'm gonna put this in. Let's see. 
Let me trim just, oh man, it's so thin. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to trim on this thing. I might have to use a rotary blade. Okay, I'm gonna do that instead. I know, I've got so many. I'm gonna use this. So, I'm gonna put this down, moving everything aside. I'm gonna line this up so it doesn't get out of whack. You know what, I'm, not only am I lining it up, I'm gonna tape it down because it's moving on me. Um, so give me a second. So in the workshop, we're gonna have these self-healing mats. You're gonna have all the tools that I use. We have amazing sponsors. And there's gonna be a ton of prizes and gifts and swag bags. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So if you're in LA, you should definitely try to make it. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm gonna trim off maybe about that much. Okay. shifted on me a little bit but I think it'll be okay all right so we've trimmed it a little bit let me move this stuff out of the way all right let's do the lid so the lid is gonna have the black on top so Let's glue this down. Okay, so we've got that down. So you can see I need a new blade. This did not cut all that well. So I'm just going to trim that off a little bit. Oh, that didn't work. Let me get my, here we go. So much cleaner, right? We don't want any of that. When it comes to black, the white next to it, it's so painfully obvious. So I'm gonna trim all that off. All right. Oh, I did this the wrong size. I normally make this Let's see, so if I do this all the way around, what's it gonna look like? I actually don't like it. Oh, okay. I don't like it, but it's okay. Let's um, darken this, so let me grab a marker. And I'm just going to color in this. That's not working. <laughs> this is why it's a working session. Um, either oh I'm so annoyed um I wanted the thicker like this one should have been this thick because then it goes over this and 
it just kind of hides everything. Let me think about what I want to do here. So if I do it right below. Okay, we'll do it right below. All right, I'm gonna put some glue down and we can tinker with that afterwards. I'm just going to go around And I think what I could do is I can get a stamp pad and ink that maybe. We'll see. And that's why this is a little bit short too, because I was thinking it was for the bottom. I don't know what I was thinking actually, <laughs> but that's okay because we've got the pencil piece that we could put right here. So that will cover it. All right. So let's think about, hold on. I'm going to go get a stamp pad. Let's see what we have here. not working either oh no it's working better okay let me see here I mean you're seeing less of the white I probably would have spent less time if I just recut it <laughs> but it's okay I'm trying to convince myself it's okay. <laughs> All right. It's better. much better okay I think what's left I know I'm being ridiculous about this but I just don't like how white it is so this part is looking really really good and I'm just gonna touch up where you where my ink pad couldn't be oh yeah that looks a lot better Okay, so well, I guess we could talk about the workshop while we're doing this. But you see, look at the difference between that and that, right? We need we need this black. Okay, so um, let's see. We've got the Cricut workshop, which is basically 
it's everything yet that you even it's not for beginners although it's great for be, it's for all levels it's how I use the Cricut what other apps do I use um, what materials do I use and then um, you're gonna put together a cardstock pro project a, a simple shaker so that you understand how it works um, you're also going to work with adhesive vinyl, heat transfer vinyl. So it's sort of giving you like everything and needle products like sticker labels. How would you incorporate that? All these things that I use for, not for every project, but you know, you sort of just need to, you need to have a lot of tools in your toolbox to do all the projects that you want to do. And so it's, it's that it's, having us around while you're doing it so that we can walk you through it there's no and you know no reading of directions um and you're doing all of it so it's going to be a lot of fun you're using the same materials we've got beacon glue barely glue sure bonder all the ones that are literally on my desk right now um and that's what makes it really really cool all right that's so much better okay we've got that down okay so now let's glue this piece. Well, let's let's put together our pencil. Our pencil is so stinking cute. Okay, uh, we're gonna be using in the class and right now foam squares. Um, so I'm gonna pull this one out because it makes the project so much nicer. So. And, um, Let's see, so that's that's class one. Workshop two is the showstoppers. So it's gonna be an off the map project. Yes, you're gonna make an off the map project. You are going to use the Excel blade, this one, to cut the foam, the one that I have. You're gonna use it and then you're gonna take it home. So, um, I mean, that's cool, right? Uh, you're going to cut your own foam board, you're going to put together the whole project, and you're also going to make a cake topper shaker. So that's going to be really, really cool. Um, what else? So that's course two. Course three is party favors essentials. So you've got the off the mat, you've got the cake topper, what else? It's the Pringles can, it's the... Um, it's the straw topper, it's, what else, um, a chip bag. So it's, you know, it's sort of like everything else. Wait, so I'm missing one, and a milk box. Um, so you're gonna, you're actually going to do all four of those. You're gonna have all the materials for it. And then I'm just gonna cut this off. And that's tiny. Did I? Ah, it's still not tiny enough. All right, here we go. I'm just going to slice this off a little bit. Where am I? Okay. Um, and then the last class, course four, is like, what else? It's like, I've got the Cricut, what else can, you know, what are all the other things? We're gonna do sublimation. Sublimation with and without a printer, you're gonna be able to see both. Um, and sort of just like all the other presses, the mug press, the uh, tumbler press, um, the hat press. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. I'm just going to hold it in place while it dries. Um, so those are the four classes. And yeah, you can find it at theuselesscrafter.com. Perfect. 
All right, so we're going to put this down like so. Let's see if that makes sense, because that's going to go down. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. Okay. So I'm actually going to glue this in place right now. I'm going to glue this in place. Oh my gosh, it's starting to look so cute. All right, let's see. I'm going to put the glue here. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. Okay, so now we know we've got to add all the other pieces. This is gonna be, oops, no, this side. So with these, I think it's gonna be easier to use Barely Art glue than my glue gun. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just going to try to line it up. It's not going to be perfect, but the bottom will cover it with this line, right? So that way you won't see that it's not all even in case we have that issue. And um, we're just going to continue on here. Let's see. Whoa. Oh my gosh. So cute. Okay, I guess the question is, I should, right? We should continue the yellow all the way over. So then it's going to be this piece. Gonna be so stinking cute. Can't get over it. Then we've got the other piece. No. No. <laughs> Make sure, okay, here we go. And it's this piece. This 
So now I'm gonna go on this side and kind of meet it on the other side to see where, it, where we need to make any adjustments, if necessary. All right, so let's see, we've got that. We need, oh my gosh, I should start separating these. There we go. We've got the middle piece. And then we're going to just continue doing this all the way around. Because we need to finish it in order to finish the bottom part so that we can clean up any of our messes. Otherwise, I would I would skip ahead. I would skip ahead. <laughs> all right, we've got that. Can I see? Nope, I can't see both sides yet. So yeah, uh, so our, our glue sponsors, I mean, there's a reason for each one of these glues. We've got Barely Art, so I'm super excited that you guys will get to use this if you don't already use it. Um, Shore Bonder, which is what I have, <laughs> and Beacon Glue, which is behind me. So it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Um, okay, let's see. Almost there. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Oh, I can see the two tails. Okay, so we've got, this one's gonna be this piece. do we have um you can also if you guys haven't followed claudia from miss olivia rose shop you can you can meet her online we're gonna go live a few times on youtube on instagram on tiktok facebook so you can see why i paired up with her um she is i think she's a a rising star she's really really sweet makes the cutest crafts so um yeah she's she's awesome okay and so every workshop we've basically i mean we're obviously going to be both there supporting each other but we split our crafts up so that you guys get a chance to um sort of if you haven't already developed it like a, develop your own creative style. You know, do you, how do you like to layer? Uh, what kind of fonts do you like? Um, 
how thick are your offsets? Like all those add up to um, your own creative style. So there's two of us, you're gonna get a, a little bit of a range. We are similar in many aspects, um, but you know, different, I mean, there's so much to being creative, right? So you're gonna get a little bit of both of us. Um, but we also kept to like our strong, um, our strong projects. Like for instance, the off the mat is definitely gonna be mine. Um, she's doing the cake topper for that session. And then um, for the next one, I'm doing the Pringles can and the milk box. And she's doing the straw topper and the chip bag. But I also created my own chip bag. So you'll get to see like how that comes into play. Oh my gosh, I put in the wrong one. Good thing I saw that. That is the wrong one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, now I can put in this one. And you can see the glue, the glue, it, oh, it gave me enough of a chance to still move it around. But it dries quickly, like that one had a second before it was gonna, before I needed to reapply. Okay, so now I'm here. Let me see, do I have enough? We don't. It's going to be a little odd right there. So I'm just going to do, what should I do? I'm gonna do it like this. It's going, it's one off, but I don't think anyone's gonna notice, except for us. <laughs> All right, we're almost done with this portion. Okay, so, oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put our thin layer down here and then let's see what this looks like. If we put this here, and this here, that's gonna be perfect. Okay, so let's put down our glue And then we're just gonna go all the way around. So there's our eraser. Oh my gosh, really, really cute. All right, and then let's put down our Okay. So same thing with this. Okay. 
and it's just gonna sit above. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. Okay. So I'm gonna run it along our band right here. this side And it's a little short because it's sitting on top of the yellow cardstock and the black. And so it's short. But it's pretty stinking cute. Okay, so there is our piece. We could. No, that doesn't look good. Okay. So this is done by itself. Where I'm gonna, we're gonna do the second portion, which is the bobble. But I feel like this in itself is a complete Pringles can. It's pretty stinking cute. This may have been, well, we can't really make it any bigger because then it would be really odd. All right, so let's get started on this. Okay, so we've got, where is, oh, here's our gold colts. And I put, Oh no, our apple's too big. You won't be able to see the... Okay. So... I guess we could just put Go Colts. Alright, I'm going to have to think about it. We're going to have to pause this video. <laughs> this is a complete Pringles can of working session gone right. I might just put this apple here because I have an extra apple. All right. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Then I'll hide all my imperfections there. So we can actually just glue that down. I like it. Okay. I'm just going to secure the glue. And then I'm going to think about what's going to go in the rest. Okay. For this, I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Down a little bit more glue. So this side is still pretty cute too. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining. Don't forget about the workshops and any comments, questions, please post them below. Talk to you guys 